Hello there. Welcome to DLI channel, Development, Empowerment and Leadership Initiative. This is an NGO where we are very, very passionate about human and capital development. And we now have over 120 videos covering all sorts of things that will be relevant to you either as an individual or as an entrepreneur. Last week, we landed our conversation on succession planning. We had a good time on that series. If you were not there, you have the videos available still on this channel. Check them out and I'm sure you will learn a thing or two. This week, we are moving on to a new bus stop. Can you guess? Yes, we are starting with life, life balance. Welcome to the series. So, what exactly are we talking about this series? We are focusing on life, life balance. Yes, it wasn't an error that you saw it as life, life balance on the title of the video. I am deliberate to change it to life, life balance because I want to catch your attention and I want you to know that this series is being approached from a slightly different land from whatever you have ever read or learned on this topic. And therefore, I really invite you to wallow in this with, with me while we try to bring out the salient point. Now, work-life balance or life-life balance as I call it. Why are we focusing on it? What is the relevance? This concept of work-life or life-life balance actually came up very recently in this our generation. It came up, started, it was a concept that started at about 1970s, 1980s when it became apparent that with the increase in industrialization, with the advancement of technology, there was a side effect that wasn't so pleasant and so positive in the world of work. And therefore, psychologists and industrial organization specialists are wondering what exactly was this new phenomenon. And hence, we had the concept of work-life balance. And really, like it sounds by the, by the mere construct of this phrase, it's a concept that says that how can the worker how can the individual find that balance between work and life? You may then be wondering why do I call it life and life? So let's start from this point to show the different slant. I say it is life-life balance because it's actually a self-defeating concept, ab initio, for you to be thinking about this concept as work-life balance. When you separate work from life, you are on a journey that you are not likely ever going to be able to win. And you will find out that research and statistics have shown that the people who succeed in finding this thing we call work-life balance is actually because they see it as life-life balance. What am I saying in a nutshell? I'm saying in a nutshell that all you have is one life. Whether you are at work, whether you are at home, whether you are at play, whether you are at church, whether you are at mosque, wherever you are, all you have is one life. Therefore, your body as an individual, your responsibility as an individual is to find a way to balance all the elements that are involved in your life so that you can achieve a self satisfying a fulfilling life and you can live long enough and well enough because when you look at the commentary of this our generation and it's so sad to say you will see many people dropping dead right at their prime professors are 45 and then by 47 they're gone we all know the story of steve jobs how much impact he made, he has made, he's still making, today is no more. I am not in any way saying that lack of work-life balance is the only cause of people dry, uh, dying at their prime. But if you study psychology like I am doing, you will realize that the psychology affects the physiology. As a matter of fact, 
a lot of the things that are called terminal dis uh, diseases today, terminal sicknesses from cancer to Parkinson's disease to all those complicated um, sicknesses that we are dealing with today, many of them are traceable to hormonal imbalances. And what you find out is that the state of mind of the individual, which is a direct consequence of how much of balance that individual is able to achieve, has a direct implication on how the body responds, how the body feels, whether it's going to be sick or it's going to be healthy. So, if you are interested in living long, if you are interested in living well, if you are interested in being happy, if you are interested in finding fulfillment in your journey of life, remember, you got just one life. There is no replay. There is no rewind. There is no pause. Tick tock, tick tock, says the clock. What you have to do, do quickly. Then this is a series you sure want to pay attention to because what we will be doing will be to then dive deeper into the different dimensions. What is it about? What does it entail? What are the implications? How can you achieve it? What are the consequences if you don't achieve it? It's going to be a full package and I'm sure you do not want to miss it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to drop the anchor this week. It's a, it's a short introductory video of what is coming and I hope that I've gotten you sufficiently excited and you are going to stay tuned, not just next week, but every week of this series to ensure that we all wallow in it together. We learn one or two things that will make our lives better. And I'm sure you also know one person that needs to join us in this series. So send them the link, invite them to join, share this video with them. Go right round and let everybody that needs to know about it know. And if there is something you want us to cover in this series, write in and we will include it as we go along because all we are here for is to ensure that very soon you can start living your dream and you can live it long enough and well enough to give you full satisfaction. And until I come back to you again next week, please don't ever forget that T-Mark is still my name and that all we are trying to do in the Light Channel is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye.